Hello and welcome to more Banjo Tooie! Now that we finished off our first stage of Mayhem Temple, let's head back to Jiggy Wiggy's Temple and unlock it the next stage. You can see it requires four Jiggies to unlock the next stage. We have ten. We have way more than enough, so let's just head right over to the puzzle and start doing it. Got to put all these pieces together. Let's see. All right. So the puzzles as we continue through these challenges get a little bit more complicated with each one. But as you can see, this crud is still very, very easy. Even if I were to mess up several times in a row, it still would not really matter because there's just so much time on the clock. Very easy puzzle. Challenge 2 is completed. The Great One will show us the way. Now, as you'll see with these, and as you'll start to see a lot throughout this game, they really love to have very long, drawn-out cinematics. I don't know exactly why, but... It's just the thing. Everyone, get down, take cover, get moving. Goku's releasing a huge bar. He'll destroy the earth if he dies. <laughs> no! Well, there we go, guys. We have unlocked the second stage. The crazy laser beams there just knock that fence right out that crud. Let's go. Well. The thing is though, yes, we just finished that stage off, but we also have enough jiggies, enough, enough jiggies, to do the challenge number three. So let's go unlock the third stage as well, why not? As we get more long cinematics, let's go through this puzzle. Uh, let's see, pretty easy. Honestly, like, don't even worry about it too much. Like right there, miss a part, whatever. Doesn't matter if you miss, it's just so easy. Oh, there's a hammer guy. I will say the one cool thing about these, oh my gosh. Get, get in there! Uh, one of the cool things about these is that you kind of get to see little glimpses of stuff that's going to be coming in the future. I presumably will go to all these stages at some point. But there we go, we've completed challenge number three! The Great One is once again going to show us the way with a very long cinematic. I'm not sure if you can skip this. Uh, press the buttons right now, it does not appear that you can. Not that I want to, I mean, these are the, these are the best cutscenes we could have ever hoped for, so... Let's just watch it. The Great Crystal Jiggy! Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy! Alright, Jiggy Wiggy. Now this one is Witchy World. This is over in a different part of the Isle of Hags that we have not quite seen yet. Even from the last stage where they showed us the plateau. We're... We, uh, yeah, but we're, we're gonna go to this area today. Believe me, we're gonna go there. Now, the stage we're going to do next is going to be the second one, not the third one here. But we will go to this area for something. And you'll see that in just a bit. But there we go! Three stages unlocked. You know, I, I have not ever thought to check this, but I kind of just saw there's like a little bit of light behind uh, the guy here. I guess there's a little area. Never thought to go back here, but we got some signs. Uh, let's go ahead and read them. This is totally off script right here. Uh, okay, I guess they're just telling us a bit about the stages here. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess those tips are probably important. I actually had no idea that was even there. If you guys know of anything relevant with that, let me know, because that was... Just totally out of nowhere. <laughs> All right. As much as I try to learn everything about these games and be as thorough as possible, I am still human, you know? There's a lot to these games, and sometimes you just miss things, so that is what happened there. But anyways, let's go up here. Now that we have the grab ability that we got in Mayhem Temple, we can grab things! Hooray! And kill Snapdragons! Because who wants to have a Snapdragon processor? Right. Okay, let's move on. Let's just not read that sign. Instead, let's go inside this door. And on to the next area. This is the Isle of Hags Plateau. In this area, we can grab a silo. Wow. I just heard a Jinjo, but we can't actually get that guy yet. For now, let's just go over here, grab this uh, jam jars, get ourselves a new ability. 45 notes. We have way more than enough for that. And this is the fire eggs. And, well, I guess if shooting and pooping out eggs was not painful enough, now Kazooie has to poop out the fire eggs. All right. A brand new egg you have acquired. So we have to press the right or left bumper to switch between different types of eggs, and then we can just shoot them. So they work exactly the same as the other eggs, they just have some different properties, but as far as how we use them, it's the same thing. So let's go up here, grab some notes. Yes, indeed, the Isle of Hags itself does have some notes. We're also going to go back here, get an empty honeycomb piece. All right, we're up to four. Now, what do we do with these empty honeycomb pieces? Well, you take them to here. This is a beehive area. Let's go inside. Honey Bees Hive. Alright. Listen to that music, dang. Hi there, Big Bear, I'm Honeybee, Mistress of the Honey. Oh, uh, why couldn't you be Mistress of the Jiggies? Yeah, that, that is a good question. That would probably be 
make our quest much too easy, so. Well, we give her some honeycombs, and she actually gives us some health upgrades. Pretty awesome. It's pretty much the way it worked in the first game, but instead of uh, having to like collect pieces to complete it directly, we just get the pieces and bring them to her. I'm not sure why there's the extra step as compared to the first game, but that's what we're rocking. So we're going to go ahead, hand those to her, and we're going to get two extra bits of health, which will come in, I guess, pretty handy. Not that the game's really too challenging up to this point, that it would really benefit us that greatly, but more health is always good. So I guess if we get five uh, empty honeycombs, we can come back and get some more health. But uh, now that we have that, I guess I'll show you guys right over here. There's actually a thing we can't do anything with quite yet, but you'll start to see these pretty often. These are split switches. These are split up pads. Or, okay, not split switches, they're split up pads, my bad. Uh, we can't do anything with that quite yet, but we'll start to see those quite a bit more often. Can we actually get up here? I'm not sure if we can uh, do that. Oh yeah, we can. Let's do that. Let's grab some notes here as well. Give me that crud. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I just fell off. Come on, Banjo, you can do better than that. There we go. Ugh. See, we did not even need the grip grab ability for that one. But right over here, you'll see at the top, there actually is a little fire target. So we got to hit that with our newly found fire eggs. Go on, Kazooie. There you go. It's got to be, gotta be very painful, but we're just going to rock it. Let's get this crud open. Let's go inside. I'm going to go back to my challenge shot. Now, I think... And I'm not positive on this, but I think when you jump, I think the fastest way to move in Talon Trot is the slide at the end, right there. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but if anyone knows the fastest way of moving, let me know. But I think jumping around and letting yourself slide is the fastest. But right here, this is why I'm actually coming to this area. Another move from Jam Jars. This one requires 110 notes. We get Grenade Eggs, yet another upgrade. Now, this one is not required for anything. Uh, at least not in the Glitter Gold from Mine stage we're about to go to, but it is nice to have. It does come in handy because these eggs do more damage than the fire eggs, so for certain enemies, they are quite useful. But while we're here, let's go ahead and dive down and get some more notes. We can also see a little boulder back there that has Kazooie's face on it. Uh, once again, something we're going to see quite a lot of, but we can't do much with that right now, so we're going to have to wait until we get a new move for that. Let's just go back up here. Oh my gosh, Grunty Dactyl, get out of my face! There is another uh, one of uh, Humble Wumble's wigwams back there, but we can't do anything with that one for quite a while. Let's just hop back into the silo. Let's go back to the plateau. And I think it's finally time to enter the second stage. It's only been like, gosh dang, almost eight minutes. Well, let's go and uh, drop down here. But dropping down is too basic. Let's actually go into here in style. Let's climb to the top. Here we go. Oh yeah! Just dive right down in there because we can. So now we are inside Glitter Gulch Mine. And guys, I've mentioned this before, but I'm going to I'm gonna mention this again. The stages in this game are pretty long. I would not be surprised if we're here for like three episodes just because that's just what these stages are. But since we just go, went ahead and entered, I think the first thing we're going to do is climb back out. Or at least climb up high enough to get this uh, Cheeto page real quick. But here, let's go ahead and get the Turbo Trainers. Now, one thing I want to point out, I'm a complete doofus, but turns out you can actually press a button on the Xbox 360 version. It's X. So we can use that to cancel these. I thought that you couldn't do that. So last episode, I mentioned the Wade Boots having to wait for them to run out. That is not the case. You can just hit a button. Well, let's go ahead and use these Speed Shoes, or the Turbo Trainers. Let's go ahead and hit the switch. That's going to open a gate way at the end of the water here, but with the power of the Turbo Trainers, we should be able to make it there in time. However, there's one task I want to do on the way, and it might be a little bit risky as far as the timer is concerned. So I'm going to do my best to go really fast, because if we can grab a warp pad along the way, it's going to make our lives much, much easier later on. It's not that big of a deal, but it's just a convenience thing, so let's see what we can do. It's going to go right down here, and to the right, I want to try to grab the warp pad right over this way. Let's get past these Billy Bobs, and there it is. Let's grab it. Well, we've got 15 seconds on the clock. Or I guess 16. We're good. We gotta make it right to that door there. Our timer's running out. Almost there. Come on. Uh, okay, the shoes are gone, but we made it. Eight seconds left, and we actually made it. So we got everything with some time to spare as well. We are now inside the waterfall cavern. So let's go ahead, grab ourselves our first jiggy for this stage. Now, this right here is not technically something you're supposed to do. So this is a bit of an exploit, but it's so easy to do that I think we should just do it. You can jump off right here and... Oh, almost fell off. You can jump off and go right to this area. You're supposed to get here a lot a lot later once we get a different move, but... Oh, well. Let's just kill off this guy. Now, inside this area, this is actually like a 3x3 grid of underwater pipes. I'll put a little bit of a map on screen just to help you guys 
I see where we're actually going, but it shouldn't be too hard to follow. I think I actually want to go... I think I might have messed up already. Gosh dang it. Let's just, let's just see if this is right, but I don't think it is. If it is, I want to go to the left here, and it should be correct. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe I did go the right way. My bad. Just completely ignore me. Just, uh, do as I do, not as I say, I guess. Well, we're just gonna go up here, grab ourselves a jiggy. I guess kill off these Billy Bobs. That is their official name, but I, for some reason, have the desire to call them Cactus Jack. I have no idea why. If they're actually hiding inside their little holes there, you can just use your Briggle Bash if you have that to get them out of there pretty easy. But there we go, guys. We got ourselves a Jiggy. Let's get back outside of this place. All right. We're just back outside of that little 3x3 three three grid. Guys, is it just me? Have I been talking fast this episode? I mean, I, I always talk pretty fast, but I don't know. I just get very excited when I play Banjo-Tooie. But right there, you can see another one of those Kazooie uh, boulders we can't really deal with right now. We're just going to exit right here, and this will take us to another area. So here's one place where the grenade eggs actually do come in handy. These guys, if we use them, they will one-shot these TNT dudes. If we use the uh, fire eggs, it would take two shots. If we use the regular eggs, I believe it's five shots. So grenade eggs, definitely handy. But one thing to keep in mind, if you get too close to those enemies... I think my voice just cracked. That was that crud. If you get too close to these enemies, then they hurt you when they die. So you got to be careful about that. But as long as we keep our distance, kaboom, they're dead. Let's just go ahead, climb up here, and get ourselves a goodie. Now, in the last stage, you guys probably saw that I ended up not getting the last Cheeto page for the stage quite yet. That's because we're going to go back pretty soon, and, well, we're going to get our fifth Cheeto page here anyways. The way that the Cheeto pages work is that every time you get five, you can get a, a new cheat code. And, quite simply, we were not going to get five from the last stage anyways. So I figure let's just wait and do it when it's more convenient rather than just kind of forcing it at that time. Because, again, we are going to go back to that area where it is, and it's going to kind of be on the way. So let's just go here, grab this warp pad. You can see right here we do have a mumbo switch, so we'll have to come back with that at a later time. But for now, I think let's go inside here. Let's see what we have. This is, of course, the crushing shed. And, well, inside here, things get crushed. I'm going to get hit on purpose, though, because I think it just looks hilarious when Badge is all squished like a pancake. But, well, all we have to do is come over here and hit the switch, and this will activate the spinny thing. It'll stop the smashes, though. We just want to uh, jump our way back out of here. If you walk along, it's just going to, the conveyor belt's going to pull you back, so let us, let us jump. Everything's going to be fine. But with that, guys, we've taken off a good chunk of Glitter Gulch Mine, as well as some stuff right beforehand. Actually, I'm going to go up here real quick and grab some more notes. But we are going to take the warp pad back to the entrance to the stage. You'll find ourselves that we'll actually be going back to the entrance to the stage a couple times throughout this uh, level. Just kind of the way it's structured, it works out that way. But let's go back. And you know what, guys? We are going to call it a day. We'll come back next time, tackle a huge chunk of Glitter Gulch Mine. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then. Take care. A huge bar.